Hey, what's going on guys? Kodamaki Gainzi here. Finally, in this video, we're going to be deploying our GUI for the USHS engine at pythonanywhere.com. But before we start, let me just quickly walk through uh, some minor updates uh, I made in order to make it work properly on mobile devices as well. So, uh, there was an issue uh, with the drag and drop on mobile devices. So, the, the issue was when I was trying to actually... Uh, play chess on my smartphone, the problem was that uh, when I was trying to drag the piece, the entire screen was uh, was kind of scrolling as well. So I found a little hack uh, in the issues uh, at Chessboard.js uh, development repository and the solution is... Uh, oh my god, where is that? It's probably down below here. Okay. Yeah, this is it. Prevent scrolling on touch devices. So I just copy pasted this part. So uh, what it does allow, it allows you. So when you when you're scrolling, well, when you kind of try to uh, touching the piece and then dragging the, that piece to the uh, target square, it actually uh, it's the it prevents uh, your smartphone screen from scrolling. So th this this is a hack, but uh, I didn't really find uh, any way of. Uh, click and click again to actually like click once to select the piece and, cl and click on the target square to actually drop it there. I didn't find this sort of a standard functionality. Obviously, I didn't want to implement uh, this on my own. And I found out the only Stack Overflow question uh, asking this uh, this about this stuff, but uh, it wasn't really answered there at all, unfortunately. So this is first thing. And another, uh, another little... Uh, bad thing well at least at my at least on my smart smartphone i had uh, a slight overlap uh, between the pgn and uh between the pgn uh, and the chessboard itself and in order to resolve this uh overlap uh i made a slight oh my god where is that i made a slight yeah here uh margin left equals to four well mar mar margin left left four uh, for the class wrapping uh, the game info and the PGN. So, uh, also, uh, I've added a couple of links. So, well, let's actually have a look how the end result looks like at the moment. So, we just say python3 app.py and let's go to. Yeah, also, obviously, just forgot to, uh, just forgot to say, uh, I made a separate repository for this UCI GUI. Uh, I will also add some. Uh, links to this uh, YouTube tutorials and some descriptions, but this is needed in order in order to make it simple to uh, deploy this uh, repository at Python Anywhere. We would be using the, the git clone command on the target uh, Python Anywhere account to actually fetch uh, the source code for this app. So just to, to give you an idea, now let's go to the local host. So this is how it looks like. Well, unfortunately, even though uh, when we're narrowing narrowing the screen. It kind of even shows something like a flag of my country, uh, but on my smartphone in particular, it I, I couldn't see this like this like picture. Unfortunately, it just narrows the screen. Well, uh, I'm I'm not a, a UX design designer, so I'm not sure how exactly that is done. But anyway, uh, if you just uh, make your smartphone horizontally like this, uh, it's quite pretty comfortable to play. So you see like the same picture, but uh, literally on your smartphone. Also, you can zoom to the chessboard and then just playing this. This is just kind of fine. So uh, here is the final version we have. Uh, and without further ado, let's actually, well, uh, j just to give you an idea. So this download BBC would redirect you to the repository of BBC. Uh, I will also add quick links for downloads for this releases here and for the GUI source code as well. So this is all about to be done as well, uh, obviously. And uh, another link is if you want to give me some money, then you are welcome doing this at Patreon. So it would redirect you to the donation page. So you can just uh, 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 make your subscription. Uh, don't get confused by this monthly, monthly subscription. You can just uh, subscribe to the monthly subscription. And then when the transaction is uh, completed, you can just unsubscribe and that's it. So that's the, that's the way how you can donate like $5 to CodeMonkeyKin, but only once, not like every month. So if you're interested, another little option. Okay, and 
basically from now on we're already ready to uh to to go well the only thing uh before we continue i just i just want to make sure that uh i i did update my repository so let me just quickly check this out yeah obviously i didn't so i want to say git at all git commit minus um let's say fixed uh drag issue on mobile devices okay git push okay okay so okay so it should be there at the moment uh on github i'm in okay guys so the next thing to consider uh well probably this might be deployed at heroku as well i'm, I'm usually deploying at heroku but the the problem is that at heroku your, your apps are slipping and I, and I already have uh, up to five apps there that's the limit so i need just to delete one of them in order to uh, uh make this chest and also uh, as far as uh, on heroku uh actually uh apps are living not even in the hard drive not even in the instance uh, of uh, a linux machine but uh, just as a variable in the ram memory so uh, i guess the computation power w would be too low low there so i just I just decided to pick up this Python anywhere. So uh, when you just log into your account, so uh, this is the free account. Uh, I was subscribing to $5 per month sub subscriptions before, but uh, that's needed only if you need to make some sort of an outgoing HTTP request from your account. Uh, but if you don't, uh, free is just the uh, right option for you. So um, here, uh, here is the tab called consoles. So uh, just uh, create a Python Anywhere account, log into your account, and then go to consoles. And here, uh, choose bash console. And by default, uh, your working directory would be just like on a casual uh, Linux environment. So just type ls. Uh, we are in the home and the user folder. So in my case, this is, well, let me just show you this. So in my case, I'm in uh, my username folder, and if we just make city one more time, it would be like, so you see like home, so we can say simply like cd home, and username, uh, the username is the one that you've used during the registration. Remember that if you're using a free, free account and you want, want to give some fancy name to your app, uh, use the that fancy name for your app as uh, the username. Uh, well, I was when I was creating my username, I didn't yet know that. So unfortunately, uh, I need to buy subs buy paid subscriptions and also uh, domain name to to give a paid fancy name. But by default, it would be just uh, the uh, j the address of this app would be like my username dot anywhere dot com. But it's not a big deal, really. So let's have a look what we have here. Yeah, and here uh, Git utility is already installed. Uh, at Python anywhere by default, so we need simply to run command git clone and then uh, I'm entering the address where my uh, repository with this UCI GUI project lives. So github.com, then my username on GitHub, and as far as this user username is public, you can download this as well. And the project name is UCI GUI.git. So now it's cloning. Okay, done. Let's have a look. So here, here it appears, UCI GUI. We can navigate to it to see the files there. So literally we'll just uh, copy it. Uh, oh, sorry, CD UCI G GUI. Uh, so here uh, it, it shows that this is the main, uh, uh, the main branch uh, in terms of GitHub rep repository just uh, recognizes that this is the github repository so if you just go to source we can see uh, all the files here like app engine static and so on so this is it now we don't need this console anymore we can exit exit from it don't forget to exit from the console otherwise it would be uh, the performance would be low because this is the free amazon web server running here and the the less stuff you have in your uh, ram memory the better basically now we need to go to the web tab and click this add new web application next i'm using flask and uh well i'm using python 3.6 but uh by default it seems like it's creating the uh, python 3.8 uh, uh, anyway 
And okay, guys, just hold on a sec. Uh, I forgot one little more detail here. Uh, without that, it won't be working for you. So let's go back to consoles again. Again, open the bash console. So the the problem is that uh, you need to install. So this app uh, relies on Python chess dependency. So uh, I made it like so. I made pip 3.6. Uh, I'm sorry, not like this. Pip 3.6 install Python chess like this uh, because otherwise it just won't be working. But it says like obviously the requ requirement is already satisfied because uh, I've I've just installed that. And also I did pip 3.8 to make sure that the Python 3.8 version also uh, uh, satisfies this dependency. Install Python chess. Maybe only pip 3.8 uh, 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 would be enough, but uh, I just made this for them both to make sure they, they would be working. So uh, also have this requirement been, been already satisfied. If you don't do this, uh, your app won't be alive. Just make sure to install Python chess in this like way. Okay, exit now. And now here, uh, incredibly important thing, uh, we need to specify the path to our app and well probably the way i'm doing this is not the best ever possible i'm just overriding the uh, app.py that i've just uh, uh cloned there but uh, i don't know how to make it in a proper way so that's the way how i do this so i'm just calling this uci gui and uh, then source and then app.py and this should be it uh well actually just to make sure that the path is correct so G, uh, okay, UCI GUI, source, and app.py. So home, username, UCI GUI, source, home, username, UCI GUI, source, app.py, app.py. Okay, so now, now this app.py actually contains uh, my code, but uh, when I run this next, it would be overwritten uh, with a standard uh, with a standard kind of like, so I'll just give you an idea, with a standard standard application, it's not really that great, but anyway, so uh, how I handle this, uh, I just grab the source code that I have and paste it in, and also we don't really need this main driver, well, even though it shouldn't fire, but just to make sure it would be working, just get rid of that, and save, and we're not running anything at the moment, just save, Another important thing to consider, uh, we need to, uh, so you remember that uh, app relies on a path to the chess engine. So uh, in our app, so how this looks like, it's like uh, it, it should be, so the working directory should be this one. Uh, well, in, in our case, this is the source directory. So it could find this engine folder and uh, it, it doesn't display the engine, but it is there, trust me. Uh, so we need to specify also a working directory. So uh, let's try to specify the working directory. So I s need to switch this to UCI GUI and source like this. Okay. And if I did everything correctly, I really hope that it should be alive now when I click this reload button here. And here is the path for my web application so hold my breath let's have a look oh my god thank god yeah this works yeah by the way i forgot to say uh, i've added this five icon here so this little knight little cute knight to to make it look like a real website so let's close this local host and this is actually alive now so we can play chess isn't isn't it cool right so now we can actually play chess completely in live mode like this and let's say yeah just want to want to download uh, so I just say this is CMK I'm playing white pieces okay and I'm getting my PGN uh, file containing my game that's kind of it the only thing that I didn't yet uh, test is actually whether this PGN is uh, is okay to be posted at by, uh, at talkchess.com that's uh, that's a little bit that's an interesting stuff to consider just want to check this out quickly 
because I really want to encourage you guys to play versus this chess engine and post on talk chess at least for those registered users so general topics uh, uh, where is my topic it's here I'm not gonna be posting I just want to uh, go for a preview mode at the moment so post reply and I want BGN and BGN based and preview. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Yeah, it works. So great. Yeah, so we can share the games on Talk Chess. Absolutely fantastic. Well, okay, guys, so this is it from my side. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial series. I think this is the very last video in this series, at least. Uh, not really sure about if I'm still about to be making a full-blown GUI like Arena because um, I realized some uh, hidden issues, some pitfalls, like uh, uh, it's, it's a long story. Just just to say, in short, it's just a long story. Uh, we can actually make engines plain versus each other, but there are issues with. Uh, transmitting the output from the engine in the live mode to the uh, web interface that's actually incredibly difficult to implement well at least for me and the people doing some interesting things like by the way like something like they do at pythonanywhere.com where we go to the console mode uh, so this is kind of web-based based console here that something that i was that i've been showing you so this is actually possible to interact between the like backend in C and front end in, in JavaScript. But this is incredibly difficult to be to, to me to me personally. Well I I would never ever implement this on my own and probably the only way is just to try to pick up some someone someone's implementation. But I just consider that to be too difficult for me. It doesn't really fit my skills but well at least at this moment. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be making a a real kind of app like Arena. maybe just try to make some in between version like uh, give an opportunity like two engines playing versus each other like but again like we need to implement this clocks and count time and well um, it's a little bit too much too many work and I at the moment I, I can't really see that much reason in doing this because uh, I have too many too 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 uh, not too many subscribers at the moment and it takes really lots of time to to, to do that and well, maybe where, when there would be more subscribers and my skills would be a bit better, maybe then uh, I would get back to this project. Anyway, guys, uh, let me know what do you think. And please feel free to check uh, this app to play chess versus it, uh, downloading and posting me PGNs either via email, email is here, or uh, posting it on Talk Chess as well. So I'm, re I'm really going for, uh, I, I really, I really want to get some feedback from you guys. And also, uh, I want to make sure that the server would actually be working and the app is not going to crash if many users would be running this simultaneously. So I really hope for that. Now, this is it from my side. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following this tutorial series. Uh, I will definitely uh, start something new quite pretty soon. I'm not sure exactly what that would be, but Chess Programming Channel is has just started and really lots of plans and ideas in my mind at the moment. So I hope to see you in the next tutorials and this Chess Programming Channel. Until that time, guys, and take care.